Hiya. Look at my tattoo. Okay, um. Damn, I feel like crazy. Mm. Use the brush. I'm always missing the brush. getting annoying and it's to the point that it's like I don't know why it's still an argument over a guy I don't want like literally I don't know what's the issue I don't know why it's like making posts about it again all this stuff I really don't get it but I want to say that as my part of course if it was been if it would have been anybody else if you get in a situation where you don't know where you're at and you don't know what's happening with that person's life, and then it hits you after, and you find out after what's, go what's going on, then I don't feel like I should just stay quiet. I'm not doing this for attention because I don't need attention. I'm doing this because I was put in a position where I was a normal girl who met up with a guy and did whatever we did, which was nothing really. And it happened because everybody does it and everybody fucking flirts and everybody kisses people and all that shit, it's normal. But I didn't know that that's what was happening. So like, just leave it alone. Because I said that shit the other day means because I was defending myself. I don't gotta defend nobody, nobody. I don't gotta defend nobody. I wasn't the one in a relationship. I wasn't the one being unfaithful, I wasn't the one lying, I was never lying, I was just having fun. And it's so funny how girls nowadays bring each other down because I went directly to her and said that I feel bad and I feel sorry for everything that happened but I didn't know. And I show her text messages and I show her proof. So I don't know why it's still going on, I'm not looking for beef, I don't hate nobody, I don't even care. Like. When I went live and talked about it was to clear up my part because people kept saying that I knew and I did not know. So, it was just so funny. Literally so funny to me. She said you were trying to link with him after the scandal. Bro, is that I'm talking to defend myself. Because that's, that's true that I was going to link up with him after the scandal. But that's because he told me they weren't together. And that, he was, that she was just living in his house because he had to take care of her. I got screenshots. I'm not going to pull them up. I don't got time to be going back and forth with this shit because it happened a month ago. I don't even know why we're still talking about it. I don't know what she's pressed. Really don't know. You want to help your family. Might as well get out of the internet. Stop being in the internet and focus on your kids and your husband. That's it, leave me alone, because I have nothing to do with it. I, I wasn't dating anybody, I wasn't lying to anybody, and it's so funny how she says that, oh, I went to dinner with five guys. I went with my manager, baby girl, because I wasn't going to go alone. And I told him to come with people, because I didn't want it to be weird like that. So, like, and about the OnlyFans, it's so funny to me. It's literally so funny, because I do that, for fun. And I do it without exposing my body. I do it as this picture that nobody sees, but that doesn't mean I'm naked. And it's so funny to me. How it's like, um, no one trying to um, get money, blah, 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 this and that. Like, girl, you didn't have a mom that stole all your money and you had to get it back somewhere, so. Girl, look at your shorts, this is cookies. I know. I was eating them like a fat ass. Look. <laughs> They're mad good though. <laughs> it was it was like warm cookies. So they're like this feel 
slip on my shorts. <laughs> I'm a kid when I eat. Ooh. So I just feel the cookies on my shorts. <laughs> I was just munching out. But anyways, stop talking about it. And yeah. If you get money an easy way, get it. And if you see girls that are older than you're worried about you, then it's for a reason. I don't hate on nobody. I wish you the best and your family the best. So stop talking about it, please. Thank you. <sighs> Literally. Like, Mala, don't worry about them. It's your life. You're pretty. Like, like that day has, day I've had, like, do what you have to do. Pin this. Ain't nobody shade nobody on my TikToks. If you guys want to put it that way, then go ahead. Ain't nobody shade nothing on my TikToks. And if you're talking about the TikTok that says, um, when you gain another body and the dick is trash, me and him never fucked or nothing like that. So how am I shading him? Because me and him never did nothing like that. So what's the point? You guys are trying to make shit up now. Literally. When I go live and talk about it, it's to defend myself, not to bring any beef, because I don't got time for beef. I got a lot of stuff to handle with my family and my situation, so. The fuck? I'm happy. I'm living life. I'm doing what I love. I make music. I work. I do OnlyFans for fun. Just like anybody will, if they could get back from everything, get back from everything. Get money from everywhere, sis. And that's it. That's me cracking my fingers. Do you guys like about the soup? <laughs> but, uh, at least he hit, he never hit. That's why I met up with him on a restaurant. I'm gonna go to Aruba, y'all. I can't wait to go. What does the tattoo on your arm says? It says, I will not be another flower picked for my beauty and left to die. I will be wild, difficult to find, and impossible to forget. Your boobs are too small, baby. That's fine. Pretty as fuck. Thank you. What are you guys up to? Ignore them. They will get over it at one point. I know. I'm not even going to talk about it anymore. I don't got time for that. There's way better things to do. Mm. Bro, this Miami weather be putting like my my fucking um, baby hairs. Eating nothing really. By the way, guys, I already got my apartment. Eee, I'm moving in soon, and that shit is so pretty. You're so pretty, thank you. Thanks, guys. You need to stop entertaining the little boys, girl. I know. I know, but just like everybody else, I'm a person. Like, just because I got fame doesn't mean nothing. Like, when somebody talks stuff that they don't actually know what's going on about you, and then start making stuff about you and start trying to make you look bad, then you're obviously going to get bothered. Because you don't like when people talk reckless on your name or talk falls on your name. It just doesn't work like that. Literally doesn't work like that. I love you so you look amazing. Thank you. All right, guys, drop some purple hearts on my resin. Do you guys want me to take pictures tomorrow? Because I know I haven't been taking pictures at all. I've just been doing so much shit. But, yeah, I'm about to leave. I love you.